fun and frivolity, fantasy and fornication. Hey guys, War got here, Hello, and uh, this is going to be a I'm video be of some newer stuff I got. It's going to be actually three videos, but this one here is going to be the shorter of, I think, three videos. And uh, but uh, I don't have a lot to show on this first video, but. Uh, Anyway, I gotta do something here. Uh, anyway, I gotta say, uh, God, the weather here has been fantastic for the last three, four days. It's been almost 40 degrees every day. Most of our snow is gone, and Christmas is not far away. We may not have any snow for Christmas and uh, the forecast calls for temps in the 30s or even up to 40 again throughout the week. But anyway, first up, here's what's playing. Some uh, rose tattoo and this is, uh, oops, upside down there. Some uh, rose tattoo and uh, scarred for live, 80 to 82. It has, uh, five CDs and uh, C CD one is uh, live in Sydney Australia CD two is live in S also Sydney in 80 and then uh, CD three is Reading Rock Festival in the UK CD four is uh, in Sydney and CD5 is at the Wax Museum in Washington, D.C. Anyway, here's some uh, live rose tattoo. Anyway, so I got five, I think five or six albums to show in this first video. And uh, these came last week. And uh, first up on... This came from uh, M Theory Records, and uh, this came out. Their second album, uh, I think the first one was kind of more of an EP, if I'm not mistaken. But they released a new one, uh, Blade Killer, and uh, High Risk. And uh, it is, I believe it's on black vinyl. Actually, it is not. It's on this uh, black and white half vinyl. Which is very cool. Uh, I have heard this. Very good album. I get her back in here. But anyway, here is uh, the inner sleeve. It's cardboard. It'll go into a bow-fi sleeve. But uh, anyway, first up, Blade Killer. And uh, actually, yeah, it is their debut album. Uh, the first one was uh, an EP, which I do also have uh, on vinyl. Up next, I did not have this. I've uh, been trying to get the full catalog uh, from this band. Uh, I think, uh, what was it, two weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, I showed, uh, let's see, what was it, the live, uh, the live Accept uh, Symphonic Terror. Fantastic live album if you have not got it. Definitely pick it up on vinyl. But uh, anyway, I picked up self titled Accept. This is on, uh, it's on PVC Records. So this is, I do believe, a German pressing. Yeah. So, picked up some of the early first album from Accept, which I did not have. Anyway, here is uh, some accept. 
up next uh, second album from this band uh, they are out on the riding riding easy record label uh, these guys are more traditional new wave of heavy metal uh, California I believe they these guys are out of the Bay Area uh, I believe this is their second or third album I think it's doesn't matter anyway uh, the first one I, this is the first one I got on vinyl I'm talking about the band Hellfire and uh, free again Again, new wave of traditional heavy metal, old school. Uh, it has not eight tracks. Like I say, it is uh, on the Riding Easy Records label. So uh, anyway, here's some Hellfire. Up next, uh, I've heard this. It's a good album. Uh, power metal. Uh, I believe this is their. Band's fourth, fourth album, I think. Uh, but uh, there's only 300 pressings of this. I got 296, and I'm talking about Sinbreed. And uh, four, so yeah, this would be their fourth release. I do have the others on vinyl. Uh, just some good, good power metal. Uh, I think they do have a new, a new vocalist on this. Uh, I'm trying to think of the other. It was Henny. Henny. I can't think of the last name. Anyway, uh, I think this is what they do vocalist, but uh, still some great power metal from Sindri. It's on the, the Massacre Records label. Last one in this uh, mail from last week. Uh, it's the third album I've gotten from this group out of the 70s. This is on uh, Big Beat Records. This is from 1982, and I'm talking about the Pink Fairies, and uh, live at the Roundhouse 75. So, recording from 75, but this was released on vinyl in 82. Um, so, and this is actually color vinyl. Kind of a, I don't know, a pink, more of, yeah, more pink, I would say. So uh, here is uh, the inner sleeve. So here it is. Fairies live at the Well House 75. Anyway, that is uh, update number one. I'll be back a little bit for number two. And uh, wait till you get to number two, you're going to be freaked out. Take care, everybody. This is more guys.